hello my lovely viewers welcome back to miss independent uk thank you for always keeping on and thank you for always supporting your girl today i'm going to share with you the things you should never ever do while having sex are there things we do while having sex and turn our partners completely off sometimes things don't even end on a good note because of our behavior because of the things we do so today i'd love to take you all through this and let's see okay our first point will be over talking some people tend to over talk and this goes between this goes on both sides women and men you tend to over talk yes having a conversation while having sex is very good and it's so healthy because you get to know when you're hurting her you get to know when he's hurting you get to know when you're rough you get to know when you're so deep so it's so good we have to talk but we don't have to over talk because some people do not like people who talk a lot. It's a turn off for them. Because even if it's not sex, let's put sex aside. You know, when you have someone, a friend, and is over talking, talking and talking, you feel tired of them. Some of us, not all of us. So you might end up turning your partner off with your over talking. We have to mind what we are saying and don't talk, 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 talk. Because in most cases, you will talk and talk, and even the action will be less than the talking. Another point will be not kissing. Most of our partners ignore the kissing part. This is so rare. Actually, I mean, this is so common with, with people having sex. You can, you can sit down and ask yourself, how many times do I try kissing my partner while we are do where we are into sex intercourse you will find out that you are not doing it in most cases but we have to try at least to kiss our lovers or kiss our partners in any way while we're having it this at least adds on the pleasure it adds on the experience and it turns us on or it turns some people on there are people when you kiss them they are turned on and so excited Another thing is biting your partner before they are ready. There are people who enjoy rough sex. They enjoy the biting parts. They love biting them. But even if your partner is the type who enjoys biting, you have to at least know they are super excited and they are ready for it. Because if you do it very early, it may seem uncomfortable for them and it may lead maybe to them to withdraw from the game because of pain. But if they are excited and on a higher note, they, not, they do not even notice this pain. They find it pleasurable. So before you bite them, make sure they are ready. Before you go for their shoulders, their chest, their neck, anywhere, any part of the body you would love to bite, make sure they are ready for it. Then another thing is ignoring everything but, you on, but only sexualized parts. What do I mean in this? That in most cases, when we are having sex, you might find that we ignore the entire body and we only focus on the genitals part. But we have to focus on the whole body because we are not, let me say, we are not having a movie that we are doing, shooting something or porn or what. We are making love. There is, there is a difference between making love and having sex. So let's make love, not just sex. Okay, chop, 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 quickie. It's not a quickie. We are giving it time. So let's give it time and focus on all our body. Because even for women, this goes to women, men love to play, love when you play with their nipples. I don't know if you know this. The eye roll, the ear robes. So please pay attention to these other parts of the body. And same goes to men. Women love their nipples. There are those who love to the, the berry button. At least all these parts give them a chance while you are doing foreplay or while you are into the act. At least try. Try to involve other parts in the game. Not only just penetration, thrusting, and that's all. No. Let's make it memorable. Let's make it exciting, you know. Sorry. Another thing will be putting your weight, all your weight on your partner. Let's talk about cowgirl. 
when we are in the position of cowgirl women you might find you are you are a bit heavier and you end up putting all your partner or when you are in missionary and you end up putting all your all your weight on your partner without considering them or without knowing that you might choke them you are putting them in a condition where they are uncomfortable so make something comfortable for them not all your weight on them okay then another thing i want us to talk about is videotaping secretly and this goes to all of us because a lot of people do it some do it just because they want to keep the memories or maybe we will watch what was happening whatever it is but if you are to videotape at least let it be open let your partner know about it do not do it secretly because if they get to know it when you are in the game that is where it will stop because you don't have their consent and in more in some countries it's even a crime to do that you can be sentenced to jail or you can be fined for it so it is not allowed to videotape your partner without their consent never ever try it it's so bad it's not good it's not and it's unhealthy because in the end if the things get out this is why we have a lot of um a lot of linked video sex tapes you will tap me without my consent then it will link maybe i don't know how you lose your phone someone gets hands on it and then it's on the old or it's all over the social media you know you're damaging my my image you're damaging my brain because i'll be depressed over this so videotaping your partner is a no a no a no a no during intercourse then <clears throat> there are some people who tend to talk about their past comparing their exes to their current girlfriends or their current boyfriends while you are in the act this also is a total turn off and it's not good and advisable not good very 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 bad never try it never do it always focus on your current relationship always focus on your current person always focus on your current partner and enjoy the moment because why do you say oh she used to mind like this oh I, can you do like how she used to do can this isn't good then another thing is that the not warning your partner before you climax you know it's a total turn off when you get to know that you are with someone but they already finished the game before you know it at least let me know and i get prepared for it same goes for women let let your woman know i mean let your man know before you go for it at least they get ready they can push or they can even finish at the same time with you, you can climax together another point is treating your treating sex like porn when i talk about this is doing the nasty things we see in porn and then we bring it to sex this is your partner. The others are just shooting a film or a movie. They are not in a relationship, in any kind of relationship. So do not treat your sex like porn. Always remember that and get it in your mind that it's not real, whatever you see there. So before you do these nasty things you see there, at least talk to your partner. If she enjoys it or she would like to try it or he would like to try it, and then you can give it a try with their consent. Just not you bringing it up without them knowing what is going on and you're doing this thing to them. It might lead for them to withdraw from the game or it may not end on a good note. Uh, another thing, I talked about over-talking but let's also look at keeping quiet keeping quiet or staying quiet is also not good you know how how just i don't know how you are in the game and there is, let's say you are on a pitch playing football and you can't hear anyone cheering you there is nothing like a whistler there is nothing like talking you just there mm, 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 kicking the ball kicking the ball and then the ball you finish like this so over keeping quiet is not, or is not also good. I said over talking is bad, but keeping quiet is also not good. We have to have a conversation. Let you have to mourn. You have to talk to them in a sexy way. Tell them sexy words. You know, on and on. Another thing is pretending to have an orgasm. 
it's not good and this women normally do it they do it uh, sometimes they do it when they are tired of the game you know when you the person is not climaxing actually i'm going to talk about that also they're not climaxing then you feel like you're tired so you pretend that you are having an orgasm and some do it just to make their partners happy or proud like yeah i made her do this but it's not good at least let them know if you are not climbing if you are not you haven't had your climax or you are not having uh, your orgasm let them know if they are your real partners unless it was just a, a fling or just one night stand that is fine but if they are your partner let them know and let them know where they have to at least adjust so that you can also enjoy sex is supposed to be enjoyable it's not just something we just do far no so before i end our video i want this to be our last but not least our last point should it's going to be climaxing too soon as i've told you about not wanting your partner but climaxing too soon is a very big total turn off to women most especially just imagine you are in the power play and the man is already ejaculating boom you didn't have anything he turned you on this sometimes does not end well so it's not so good you have if you have this problem because there are people who have a quick ejaculation you can at least look for ways to how to hold it for some time longer and in that same line i want to look at climbing climaxing too late there are men who use this is it called what is it called sorry sorry is it called uh, climb is it clack no classic yeah it is a classic way this in this way they tend to shift their brain on their thoughts from what they are doing and they put it to something that makes them angry or what so that they will sex you that is how i should say they should stay longer in the game but this is not good because sometimes it is not good to stay longer and it's not good to be short so it has to be normal or medium enjoyable allow me to end our our video for today do not forget to subscribe if you're new and if you're my returning subscriber thank you for always standing in thank you for always supporting your girl i love you so much stay blessed if you have anything to add on this video please feel free to leave it in the comment section and if you want me to do a video or you have a question for me you can also feel free to leave it in the video do not forget